Hello Virgos, welcome to your love reading for March 2021. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. And then make sure you click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking and feeling. And in that spread we'll have if they may be interested in somebody else and something you do not know about them. Let's get to the reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Virgos? For March 2021, what do you see what they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through the messages? Any messages you have for Virgos? Love energies from March 2021 would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? What are the general energies you see for Virgo for March 2021? We have a Knight of Pentacles in the upright. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? We have the chariot card in the upright for challenge. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Advice is the Ten of Cups in the upright. And like, share, subscribe, and or donate. And we end on the Three of Pentacles in the upright. So, um... Virgos, what I'm getting from this uh, so far is that you should give it a shot, okay? You should give it a try, a serious try. Your general energies with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So you're being really apprehensive about um, love, a love situation. And you don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to risk getting hurt. You are being very careful and very cautious this time. Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles. So you're not going to be impulsive and rush into something. And as you can see, you're kind of you know, care, there's um, the Knight of Pentacles is the most inactive card out of all of the cards. And because he's not moving, he's just kind of staring ahead, wondering how he should proceed. So um, baby steps, if, if any at all, for him. Challenges full steam ahead. So it's a challenge for you to, and the cherry card is the card of cancer. So the challenge is you just deciding you're going to go for it, okay? That you're going to give it a shot. Um... I, I don't necessarily know what's kind of holding you back. Maybe you're lacking confidence in regards to it. You don't know where it's going to end up. You don't know where it's going to lead. Um, you know, um, maybe you feel like you're going to have to uh, compromise a little bit more than you actually want to. Um, but that's kind of what's holding you back, not kind of um, seizing, 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 seizing the day or seizing the person and just moving um, full steam ahead. So... You don't want to do that for whatever reason. Advice. This is the go for it card. They're saying th this is the person. This could be the one that you should choose. Um, this is a card of an ideal partner. This is someone who you could marry. This is someone who you could have children with. This is the, the house, the white picket fence. This is harmony, feeling fulfilled. This is the whole, whole ball of wax. So they're saying go for it. So um, rather than kind of holding back, this could actually be your person. And then the Three of Pentacles, we end with that. And that's all about um, working very well together. So, I mean, this person could be another earth sign, for instance. And um, practically, you guys work really well together. You, um, This is this is your teammate. This is somebody who um, is going to want to, you're going to want to work hard in the relationship. They're going to want to work hard in the relationship. And you guys are going to do it um, and try to make it succeed. Now, I will say with the Three of Pentacles in the upright, this, as you move forward, um, you could end up... Um, working with this person so maybe you're not working with them right now but you might get into a work situation with them or be put on the same project or you know something that's going to um be recognized or put on public display so let me start pull pulling fires tripping over my own words why is the nine of pentacles here in the upright for virgos who is this person what is this energy additional messages from the nine of pentacles for virgos Wow, you guys are really holding back. We have the hangman card in the upgrades. You guys are stuck. You're in limbo. Um, you're not doing anything. You're putting everything on hold for right now because you don't know how you're going to move forward and decide. Uh, you don't know what your goals are with this person or if you're going to, you know, want to work on goals with this person. Um, being really, really hesitant. Um, 
Wow, you have to ask yourself the question. You have to have the internal conversations with you. Why are you stuck? Why are you so hesitant to move forward? Um, it's okay to wait a while before you move forward, but I think you need to um, kind of figure that out internally and enlighten yourself. Um, and maybe it'll it'll allow you to kind of take that step forward. Why is the chariot card here in the upright for it challenges? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the chariot card in the upright. Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Okay, so the star card in the upright, um, but it's in the challenge position. So the star card in the upright is the card of Aquarius, um, and it, it's kind of you don't have you don't have the hope that this is going to or the faith that this is actually going to happen, um, or that it's going to uh, you know that it's going to become something beautiful. Um, the star card is actually a soulmate card. It's, it's when you, um, you've you gone through a lot and you actually meet the person that you're intended to meet. The, the universe just kind of shoots them down to you, but you're not believing that this is your person for whatever reason. So maybe it's the past kind of holding you back a little bit. Um, you know, allow yourself, like I said, give it, give it, give it the old college, try. give it a shot. Is what I'm saying. Okay, why is at least from what I'm seeing so far? Why is the Ten of Cups in the upright for Virgos? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Ten of Cups for Virgos for advice. Who's this person? What is this energy? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> See the Ace of Cups. This person is the one you should be choosing. Um, this is new love again, marriage, birth birth of a child, um, someone proposing to you. This is a new direction. Don't judge this person based on your past because this is somebody who really um, can is emotionally, will be emotionally invested in you. So um, let go of what's kind of holding you back and I would say pursue it. Um, why is the Three of Pentacles here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Virgos as they move out of March into April? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why are you showing me the Three of Pentacles in the upright? Okay. And we have the um, Six of Wands in reverse. So despite the fact that you guys work really well together, like I said, as a team, you vibe um, in regards to anything practical. It seems like a, it's a very viable relationship. There's still a part of you with the Six of Wands, even moving forward for this reading, that doesn't have the confidence that it's going to work out, is doubting it. Um, you know, it doesn't, you're worrying that you're not going to be appreciated for your efforts you put into this. So this has to be, um, this has to be residual from a previous relationship. I can't imagine that it's anything else, but you're being way too tentative and hesitant. I mean, everything about this is saying full steam ahead and you just keep on holding back or you keep on finding reasons why you shouldn't. So, um, that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email or a DM. Click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, we will also have something you do not know about them in addition to whether they are seeing somebody else. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I will see you all on the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.